the big difference that people are going to notice who are actually going to the polls is the ID requirements have changed. Rather than, it, it used to be in days of old, you could actually get someone to vote for your identification if you weren't able to prove both your address and your identity. This time around, the rules are more strict. You're going to get a voter's information card in the mail if you're registered. That is no longer an acceptable piece of ID. What you're going to want to bring instead is either one piece of photo ID that shows your address, like a driver's license, and actually that's about it as far as photo ID that shows your address as well, or two pieces of identification that don't have to have a photo on it, but that show your address. So that can be anything from a utility bill to a library card to a, a school transcript. Anything that, that, again, that has both your name and your address on it. The, uh, the elections people will also accept uh, printouts of electronic bills, which is good for people that have now switched to, uh, to electronic versions of all of those things. Uh, there also, a third way, if you're not able to come up with, for whatever reason, those pieces of ID, you can also get one person to vouch for you in a limited capacity. That person has to have identification themselves and be registered at the same poll as you are, which does de tend to limit uh, the, the sort of the pool of people that can do so. Also, uh, they can only vote for one person at a time. So really the most important thing to remember when you're heading out to the polls, if you're registered and you've got your voter's card, you've got all your information in terms of where you're going and, and how to get there and what time, what the hours of the poll. When you get there, you're going to want to present that identification. That's probably going to be the biggest change for people that have voted before. For people who are voting for the first time, well, get used to it because this is kind of how it is now.